Thank you so much for uh, inviting me. Thank you, my friends at the uh, Jewish Museum, Dr. Marwell, who's standing in the back. Uh, my colleagues, and the Italian Consulate General and the Polish Consulate General, thank you so much for uh, putting together this beautiful program with our office. And of course, I'd like to congratulate the former Shulamito Tolengi for uh, being here and gracing her, us with her presence. This is a very special um, Holocaust Remembrance Day for us in Israel uh, for two main reasons. The, main, the first reason is that it's the first time in Israel's history, in Israel, Israel's 65 years of existence, that the number of Jews living in Israel today has exceeded the 6 million mark. Today we have uh, more Jews that live in Israel than we have in any other uh, country in the world. And uh, it fills us with joy but also uh, with deep sorrow because we know that pre-war Europe had uh, 13 million Jews. And uh, if not for the Shoah, if not for the Holocaust, we would have been much stronger, much bigger, and the world would have been enriched knowledge and the experience and the enthusiasm and the energy of the people that were taken from us. The second reason is why we're here tonight is the fact that this year we mark 70 years to the largest single Jewish revolt during World War II, the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. It's interesting, I just came and the reason why I was a little bit late is because I spoke at another event that commemorated a different angle of Holocaust remembrance. This event is devoted to the historical roots and the origins of our national anthem. Now when you enter Yad Vashem, right at the entrance on your left hand side, there's a video monitor that plays in a loop an old footage I believe that was taken in the 30s, before Hitler came into power in Germany, where you see in black and white tens of young children attending a day school, Jewish day school, and they sing together, collectively, with great deal of enthusiasm, our national anthem. Our national anthem in Hebrew is Hatikva, which means in English, the hope. And my colleague from the Polish consulate pointed correctly that despite of the fact that they knew that their chances to emerge victorious from the military battle are very small, 750 Jews in the Warsaw Ghetto got together in order to rebel against the Nazi enemy. And we have to remember, it's the hope that kept them together. It's the hope that motivated them. The same hope that ignited the Zionist flame. And let me remind you today, and we should be very proud of it, Zionism is not only the most successful national movement of the 20th century, it's the only successful national movement of the 20th century. And maybe historically the answer is what happened to the family of Antek Zuckerman, one of the leaders of the Warsaw Ghetto. How many of us know that Antek Zuckerman's granddaughter, that Svia Lubetkin's granddaughter, Ronnie Zuckerman, is Israel's first female fighter pilot? A 
I think that says it all. About the role Israel plays today in safeguarding and securing the well-being of every person who is Jewish or every person who is of Jewish background. Because this is the criteria used by the Nazis to determine who is a Jew. So I'd like to congratulate all those great institutions for putting together this important, meaningful event. And I'm sure you're in for a very special and meaningful and important cultural performance. Thank you so much and God bless you.